Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today, we are back out on the field. Of course, last time around, we went to Serene Shores, we found winged Pikmin, and of course, we saved the final member of the rescue corps, which is Bernard the pilot. So we have a lot to do today. I figure we're just gonna run around and just get started with maybe some new science lab stuff. I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. I agree. So, what do we got in here? There's apparently some new gear, the power whistle. I increased the whistle's range by, well, a lot. It should now be even easier to gather your Pikmin. This sounds amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, that super power whistle. There we go. And was there anything new? Oh yeah, there's two new things. We got the treasure gauge plus. Now you can see the total amount and locations of the treasure. Time to go back and double check your work. That sounds amazing. So our treasure gauge plus is 100, but we also have the sniff saver. Ochi's keen olfactory instincts leave him vulnerable to poisonous aromas, but science can dissolve those toxins. I don't think we ran into those. Huh, weird. Um, for right now, let's just do treasure gauge plus. Maybe we'll get that next time. But uh, there we go, that's gonna be really, really useful. Was there anything more that I wanted here? Um, I feel like maybe a couple more mines would be nice. There we go. Um, cool, so we spent a lot of our stuff there, but we'll look around the camp to see if we can put in any quests, any characters we can catch up with or something like that. It looks like over here, I see Pikmin Sprouts on the radar map. Yep, there was one over here. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's go over this way and talk to you. Ah. You've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. I gladly will, so 50 material this time, that's really nice. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. So I guess for this one, we need to find 40 more treasures. Will do. Okay, Um, is there anything else to do around here? Because I'm trying to look for the new pilot. Okay, here you are. We just saved you last time. Hey, you're that rookie I've been hearing all about, right? Whew, am I thankful for you. I'm Bernard, pilot of the one and only SS Shepherd, and I am deeply pleased to meet you. I'm also relieved to see that you are just as bright as the cap said. Thank you. Do you have a quest for us? It seems like you do. While I had leaves on the brain, my head couldn't stop thinking about Dandori. So listen, I need your help. I need you to save everyone who got leaf leafified like me. Seriously, every last one. Whew, it's no small thing, I know, but there are rewards in it for you. Believe me, I picked up a whole lot of raw materials. I mean it, I'm counting on you, okay? Good luck, rookie. Ha 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 ha, you've rescued that many already? Nicely done, rookie. All right, so we get uh, 30 more material for this one for curing six leaflings. You certainly deserve that reward and more. Keep up the amazing work. So we need to find three more to cure nine leaflings. Okay, well, we can definitely do that. In the meantime, though, is there anybody else we can chat with? Another student was saved over here. This one is uh, Quiche. My name's Quiche. I came to the planet on a field trip with my high school's planetary science club and wound up stranded. Well, hopefully we can find your other student soon. Um, the spaceship is that? You say that every time, and every time I still have no clue. Um, it looks like that's everything. So unless we wanna do some pup training here, which I figure why not, we'll go um, on a day expedition after that. So I'd like to train. So let's see what we got going on now. Uh, we could learn super buff, we could learn big chomp level two, or we could heal or learn command. Use this skill to tell your partner to go to your base and, or call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. I feel like maybe this would be a good idea. Okay, yeah, more control for um, Ochi here might be a good idea. All right then, so we have one more point left over. We, we can't really spend it on anything, but eventually, right? Okay, not too bad. Keep up the good work, and remember, no slacking. Will do. So also, I've been meaning to check this out. For the shortcut settings, we do already have the idlers alert down here, so that's good, um, as well as looking at our missions and stuff. We don't have anything set for this, so maybe this is where we do something else. Um, hmm. I guess maybe just I feel like something with Ochi would be good, but I don't know if we'll have that option. Uh, ID badges, gears and skills. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I guess for right now, that then it might just be easier to set that to nothing until I can really think on something that would be useful. Okay. Hello? Now that the rescue core is properly assembled, or reassembled, we can finally put our minds and efforts towards our main mission. Despite the delays, I'm confident our, our search for Captain Alamar will be nothing if not successful. All right then, um, let's chat real quick. Richie. Once you become a leafling, it seems like the only thing you can you think about is the art of Dandori. Maybe they're being controlled to think and 
act, to act that way, perhaps against her will. Ready for action? I think so. So we're gonna be heading back to the shore this time, because it's really the only area we have left, right? Oh no, there is more areas maybe being unlocked now that we got the full crew. Whoa, so is that the house? Hero's Hideaway. So we'll be checking that out at some point, but I think for right now, we should be fully focused on completing Serene Shores, because what if this is the last area? I wanna make sure that everything is properly complete before we go into it. So let's keep working on Serene Shores um, and find out what's going on. Because hopefully there's more stuff to find here. I think there might be, it's, I think it said there's another Pikmin to find. That would be amazing. So I'll be exploring this area as thoroughly as we can. We definitely set up some shortcuts before, so that'll make it even easier. So let's get going. All right, we're back at Serene Shores. And I definitely need to grab some blue Pikmin for this one. I feel there's a lot we can do. So let's just run out here really quickly. We will go like this, this, and this. And we also got wing Pikmin last time, but I mean, hopefully we can find an onion soon. I thought that'd be nice. Okay, and then we'll just ride on top of Ochi. Oh well, yeah, if we could find more onions that could grow the populace for those other Pikmin, that'd be great. So we cleared out a lot of stuff. My goal is to go back out this way because there has to be another landing spot for like, you know, some kind of, um, for our ship, really. So we're gonna hope for that. But for right now, just heading out here. Lots of stuff to do, I'm sure. And I know that there's some goodies over here. We fought some of these enemies, but we couldn't find the time to actually do anything about it. Is this a golf ball? I think it is. At first I thought it was a big egg, but not quite, so there are those three things dealt with. I do see this big mean crab over here. There's actually two enemies we have to fight, so maybe we do something like that. Focus in on you, um, try to freeze you as soon as possible. That doesn't seem to be working too much. Oh, you ate one of them already. Not good, not good. We're sending those bubbles out everywhere. Uh, okay, yeah, send those out as soon as we can then. And that seems to be doing a little bit of something, but well, a lot of them are getting bubbled up here. This is sort of a mess. Uh, come on, if I could just ice you, that would make a big difference. Okay, that should do it. Ready, charge into you, hit you with everything I got, and that should finish you off real fast. Let's call all the Pikmin over as soon as possible, and then um, work on this. So, yeah, I'll send seven over like this. Treasure collected. We're about to get another one collected too once we get this. Um, looks like we get some ultra, ultra spicy Sprite. And then you guys, what do you think you're doing over here? Ooh. Come on, almost got you, almost got you. No, we don't, okay. <laughs> oh, I saw the health bar for the geyser. I thought that was for the for the monster. Okay, we're just gonna do that and freeze you, charge into you, and then, come on, break you, break you, break you. Like that, because we've only lost four Pikmin so far, actually, it's not too bad. Um, So, work on this one a little bit, and then yeah, I guess if we can throw some Pikmin over here to get them buffed up, that might be a good idea. Looks like a lot of the red Pikmin need it. And there should, be more over here. So I think we'll hop off of Ochi and just send all of our Pikmin over to see if any of them need any extra stuff. It looks like that's good. So I think in the meantime, yeah, let's make sure we keep calling them over with this. Sorry I have not been using that shortcut, but I'm using it now. Okay, over here. I think I'll use mostly red Pikmin for this one. New treasure collected. We're staying on top of it pretty well, it seems. There's still so many of these to grab. Uh, so we'll just use whatever Pikmin we can. Looks like that's it. So we'll do that, grab these blue Pikmin, and continue up this way. Still not seeing anywhere where the ship can go to. Whoa, that's the Statue of Liberty, okay. I think we'll need the yellow Pikmin for this one, or maybe I could, Oh, whoa, that helped out a ton. And that's perfect, because we have exactly 20 Pikmin right now. So that's good. We can go down this way and maybe fight this monster a little bit. Um, there we go, oh, look at you, Ochi, so proud. So I'll send Ochi after this one. We'll send some more of our Pikmin over here too. But actually, I don't know. Maybe I actually shouldn't do that for Ochi just yet, because Ochi can work on this wall over here and open up some more stuff for another um, reward, another treasure. That sounds pretty cool to me. Because now we gotta work on this, but from the other side. Oh, I see, so this is where things might get a little complicated, but if we have a bunch of water Pikmin, we can certainly make something happen. Okay, so yeah, everybody come over to me, if you don't mind. So this is quite a lot of Pikmin at our disposal. Gonna get three red Pikmin on that one, and then have all of the non-water Pikmin work on that, and then with these guys, I would like to run out here 
and try to fight this guy. This thing can be sort of a mess sometimes with the spikes and stuff. Gotta call them over. Looks like they didn't really notice in time. Oh, no, 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 wait. Okay, we got it, that's awesome. So, let's get that. Let's get that. Ochi's coming back to us, which is cool. I wanna look around here as much as we can now. So, one more blue Pikmin over there. All over the idlers, just to see how many we have. What is the deal with this one? It just needs seven, so I think the red Pikmin should be able to get that handled pretty nicely. But, oh, oh, guys, 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 sorry about that. Let's hop on Ochi. I only have three blue Pikmin at the moment, so it's just a little bit of a slim picking, I guess. Okay, that was just not nice. Uh, hop back on. And it looks like we got you, so that's good. Um, And then we'll try to do this. Uh, here, hold on, where are you going? Come on, boom, popped ya. That's satisfying, okay. So what's the deal with this one? It needs 12 blue Pikmin which we just don't quite have at the moment, but I can definitely get some more. This is where, okay, first off, I need to send another Pikmin over here, but this is where I really wanna move the ship to, is just somewhere in this area, but I just don't see any option for that, really. Okay, we have 15 blue Pikmin now. Was that enough? I think it was. It was only 12 that it needed. So we are making our way farther into this day. We're making good progress with everything, okay. That's good enough. Two more over there. Take a look at the map. We're getting lots of treasure and stuff, but for now I need to explore this area as thoroughly as we can, because look at what's over here. I don't have a lot of Pikmin to fight, whatever this is gonna be. So it's usually a monster or something that protects this stuff, but I mean, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, um, can't use the space right now. We can if we send everybody over. So Ochi, if you don't mind, just work on digging that up. I don't have a lot of yellow Pikmin at the moment. And is this a reinforced wall? I don't think it is. Excavation completed, that was actually really fast. Very cool, so let's move the base over here, I guess, maybe I should have waited. Hmm, maybe I should have waited, because now they have to walk all the way back. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but I got all these guys here. You can bring that just up into there, super duper easy, awesome. So if we ride you, um, we can send some Pikmin over this way. And are they working on that wall? I mean, it seems like they are. I don't know if it's making much progress. Oh, it is, it is, okay, cool. So I'm really glad that we at least got this figured out, even if, uh, I don't know what's up with these. Um, oh, that's what's up with those. Be careful, uh, door wall demolished. Here come these guys, slowly but surely. But I want to yeah, call my friends over just so that I can get that working and then fight this thing, because that guy did not look fun to deal with. So I gotta go behind them. If I can throw some ice pick at you. Ooh, that was perfect. Everybody just go over then, and boom, quick work with you. Awesome. So it looks like nobody needs to bloom there. New treasure collected, and that means I can grab all of you guys. Oh, I think I used the ultra spicy spray by mistake. Not really what I was after, but I guess I could get some more. Could do that. And then also, we gotta remember that we can attack it too. Only if we have no Pikmin, I suppose. Um. Okay, actually, I might call Ochi over. Here, ride Ochi. There we go. They're all gonna work on that, and we will fight you over here, maybe. Okay, there we go. Oh, that thing is so creepy. Come on, let's beat you up as fast as we can. That should do the job. There's some Pikmin Sprouts waiting. Cool. We'll deal with that soon enough, too. But for right now, I'm just gonna toss that over. Get that done. And it looks like there's more beyond this, but we would just need to, uh, drop Ochi. So for the time being, do this instead. They're gonna work on freezing that. It does definitely take some time. Okay, uh, oh, but the tide's changing, so it might not hardly really matter. So we're halfway through today already. Jeez, that moved fast. Oh, and there's um gold here, okay. I'll send a bunch of Pikmin out there for that then. And now that this is frozen, we can just charge through it. There's another one over here though, which, I might as well just get rid of as many as I can. Uh, got it, cool. So is there any caves we can jump into that we haven't yet? It looks like there's two over here, so I guess that's what we should be trying to do. Oh, we can also just send my character to go there now. That's awesome. So we finally got that upgrade, yeah. So, um, oh no, oh, move it, move it, move it! Oh, so scary. I might just wanna use Ice Pikmin for this then. Oh, come on, come back, come back. Terrifying. Come on, this is our chance, this is our chance. Okay, now send everything we got at it. I'm gonna charge it too. 
Got it, awesome. That was really interesting enemy. It's like a little pin that we unlocked there. Um, we got more ultra spicy spray as well. Let's grab as many Pikmin as we can from over here and really just take a good look around. I probably wanna hop down this way and start figuring out that bridge over there. And then we can push that bag down. There's a lot we can do from that point. So just working on bridges sounds like a good idea. If I'm heading the right way, which I think I am. It can be hard to tell at times. Here we go. So do this as much as we can. It needs 27 pieces. So if we get 27 Pikmin on it, it should go pretty fast. The Sword and Shield series, though, is making some progress. Yeah, more gold shows up on the later tides, which is really good. This stuff is nice to have. Okay, so that's all busy at work. I don't see too many idle Pikmin around, so, I mean, okay, I do see some over here. We're just hanging out. So I might as well just try to deal with what I can. This seems to be going pretty well. Uh, we'll charge. We don't even need to. Okay. Uh, I have to pop them. There we go. <laughs> Much better. And what's going on over here? This is like it's it's is its own segment, really. Okay, I'll definitely have to have some Pikmin that can start digging at that. I think. So I'll leave it for now. But if we can defeat more enemies, that's just less stuff to deal with later. So they're just gonna stand there and take it for some reason. Cool. It looks like that's about all I can do there. I think the bridge is finished, so I definitely wanna go work on that. We'll call everybody over. We'll just pick them up on the way. So this bridge is nice because it allows us to get across to here, but more than that, I see some stuff in the water over this way. And I figure, we need to tackle some caverns. Why don't we tackle this one? A new cave discovered. Let's head in. So this is the engulfed castle. Shortly into my explorations, a loud bang echoed throughout the cave. My memory's been clouded by fear, but I do recall that there was nothing I could do with the blue Pikmin I'd brought with me, and I ran away in desperation. The rest is a mystery. Nothing you can do with the blue Pikmin. But why does it want me to have only blue Pikmin? Uh, I can't change anything. Okay, wait, no, no, I, I was trying to, it wouldn't let me move over to the other Pikmin. So it said suggested Pikmin. I'm pretty sure if that's all it allows me, it's not a suggestion. <laughs> well, we'll try this out with 20 less Pikmin than I'd prefer, but 50 still a lot. So we have 50 blue Pikmin here. Uh, and we'll just try to run around and figure this one out as much as we can. I mean, first things first is that we have um, some very undesirable enemies over there. I'm a little bit worried this is gonna spew out fire, but we destroyed it before it was an issue. But I did see that fire slug, which we'll have no hope of facing off with. Okay, yeah, get some Pikmin onto this so that we can bloom them. And I guess for now, we'll just have to avoid the enemies until we can uh, find a better way to deal with everything. Let's see, um, yeah, lots of unfun things going on around here. Let's hop off of Ochi. Have Ochi just chilled over there, and I guess have some Pikmin over here. I will work on destroying this, but I'll have to call them back from time to time. And then once it's done, I'm actually gonna call them back over here. Come on, come on, I think we can destroy it before it goes again. Just because I don't know, yeah. Oh my goodness, I think it's creepy. Um, Ochi might be our best bet here, and I don't know if they have the fire guard on at the moment. Here, let's destroy this thing first, as we're going to, uh, so as many as we can over here before you notice. Oh, that was scary. That was very close. Um, okay, so we go again in just a second. Yeah, it really wasn't letting me bring other types of Pikmin. So we'll do this and then call them over, maybe. Um, Ochi, if you wanna fight. Okay, so Ochi does not get affected by fire. So Ochi, since we got that upgrade, might be our savior for this one. As you can see, you can handle no problem. I mean, eventually they do sort of bring a fight back like that, so we gotta be very careful, but we can do something like that for now, and then work on this. This could be our exit, yeah, over here. But the thing is, is that I want to still be able to complete this area 100%, so it might prove to be a little bit difficult. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Watch it, watch it. Get everybody over over here really quickly, and then, um, no you don't. Ooh, scary. Yeah, Ochi, do you wanna fight it? Oh, Ochi had stuff in his mouth, that's why he was confused. Oh my goodness, okay, everything's getting crowded at this corner. I want Ochi to fight, 
And Ochi's doing a pretty good job fighting. Luckily, we have a ton of scrummy bones, so it's not too big of a deal if we lose some health with Ochi. Got that, got that, this, and that. That should help out a little bit. I'll call those Pikmin over soon enough, but this is where things get tough, is when Ochi cannot follow us. But Ochi can still get over from there, so let's just ride Ochi for the moment. Call over all those Pikmin. We're back up the 54 of them. So we only lost, only lost one Pikmin so far. I'll get up here, wait for the flames to do its thing. And now. We should be able to destroy this thing before it can do too much. Got it. I'm gonna hop off of Ochi to send, Ochi, what are you doing? Um, okay, we find 75 creature species, that's good. Okay, up here. Uh, this might be the most I can do for the time being, but, okay, run Ochi, run. No, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Ochi's hurt, it's chasing after us, no! Leave us alone, that was really bad. Um, send Ochi after you to keep fighting. That's about all we can do there. Ochi, why aren't you fighting? Um, Ochi's getting really confused in this mission. Um, yeah, I don't know what Ochi's doing at all. But we'll break this. I will just get everybody back together, and at least we'll be able to lower that gate, and that'll make things a lot easier, especially here with that lock being locked onto the gate. Okay, so I will do that. I will at least command Ochi to keep fighting this monster. And then I guess I'll just, like I can throw a couple over, but they instantly get lit a flame. So I guess it's not worth doing. Unless I can like try to get them to go into the water. But it doesn't seem like they follow me when I do that. See, Ochi doesn't want to go. Why not? I guess because Ochi's too hurt? Let me try throwing out a scrummy bone then. Okay, well I didn't mean to do that. Uh, do we have I thought I had a scrummy bone as a shortcut, I guess not. Um, so, give me a second, go to our pack, and throw him a scrummy bone if not anything else. Obviously we can use items and stuff here, like I have one ice blast, so I should probably save that for when I really, really need it. But we have 15 of these scrummy bones. I just find it weird that it wouldn't let me take any other pigment. So you're back to full health, we go over here, we send you in the fight. You almost got him, so if you just keep chomping away, you got it, that's excellent. See, I knew you could do it, buddy. We could just find other types of Pikmin though. We could just really demolish this whole thing very easily. Especially if we could find red Pikmin. So, there is that. Um, over here, we have another one, which requires seven. So that should be enough. Once we get all those things over, I think we're done. New treasure collected, very nice. Getting plenty of sparklium too. What is, what? What is that? Whoa! Uh. What is this thing? God. Something just dropped from above. What is that thing? I can see it, but I'm not picking any up any signs of life. I hope this will make sense after I check the log. The non-existent entity. Bomb rocks show no signs of working against this creature. Never mind the Pikmin attacks. Does this body not actually exist in this dimension? Maybe if I hit it with a gravitational wave, the dimensions will converge and it will show itself. But is that possible? What is this? Its body might not exist in this dimension? How is that possible? So a physical attack could have no impact at all? So what do we do? Well, let me think. I suggest you go with my favorite battle strategy and just run away while you can. I'm trying my best, but um, that is horrifying. Um, so I need to get my bearings here for a moment because there's still more stuff to do. It's, it's rolling after us. Oh no, this is not good. There's more enemies falling in and oh my goodness, of course there's more stuff to find. So, no, no, no. Ochi, attack this thing. There's not a lot of things to do in this close quarters area, but oh my gosh. Yo, what do we do about this? We'll roll over the enemies? It will. Okay, well that might be our trick to surviving this then. Let's ride for over here for now. Okay, okay. We just need to sort of distract it. <laughs> it's just rolling around. It's sort of cute. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, get you to come over, because it just looks like it's gonna roll over anything that moves. It moves so fast though, it's gonna be hard to keep ahead of things, but I think we could do it. It's all just about strategically planning out where we wanna move, which is, what do you know, Dandori. So if it's gonna move over there, I run over here and at least get it to turn around for a second. So that means with a little bit of time I have here, I'm going to rush over, um, get this stuff and get that stuff, okay. 
then over here, do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. And I know it's making its way over, so if we can distract it so it's not running over my Pikmin, that's gonna be the best bet. Because we're almost there. Oh no, my Pikmin! Okay, it rolled right past my Pikmin there, actually, we're fine. New treasure collected, and we're at 80%, so hopefully when we get that little berry that was there, we'll be done. Where is it now? Oh, it's not even over here. Okay, new treasure collected, we're at 100%, so you know what that means, we're getting out of here. Not wasting any more time, just gonna enter through this one, awesome. So we found a way around that thing, whatever it's supposed to be, but I'm sure it'll keep chasing after us in sub-level two of the engulfed castle. All right, well, it doesn't seem like it's immediately followed us, but I don't wanna take any chances. I don't know if that's because we took too long, huh? There must be a castaway nearby. It might be because we took too long. So I just need to sort of stay on top of things here if possible and just try to get things done fast. Good Dan Dorian the such. So I'll hop off and we will send you over, go like that. And they should be able to make quick work of that. If we take a look at the map, there is some stuff to do in the other direction though that I might want to work on if I can. Dirt wall demolished. We'll go call over the idlers because it looks like at the least we can break a wall down over here. I can start plucking at this stuff. All right. And done. So, ride Ochi for a bit. Call over the idlers. Right over here. Hop off of Ochi. And then get them the charge. You too, Ochi. All right. Keep going, keep going. That's it. <laughs> they always awkwardly, st awkwardly stand there, and it's sort of cute. Okay. That's pretty good. Over here is gonna be our exit if we did just wanna leave, but obviously I don't wanna do that. But what I do wanna do, oh, I can make that jump. That was actually a really cool jump. And it looks like there's something secret over here. Whoa. Let's see what we get from this end. Let's hop off of Ochi to have Ochi help dig it up. The only thing is that there's no way to bring it over for the time being. So while the excavation is completed, we're gonna leave it until we can lower this gate. All right, back over here we go then. I'll grab all of this, and I'll be looking for a button somewhere. So let's head in the other direction then. It looks like there's a lot going on in this big room. Oh, yeah, and I do see the button up there. So luckily there's no flaming enemies. Really happy to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna charge you like that, but that might not be a good idea to take them on head first. It's usually a mistake when it comes to these bulb orbs. Here, I'm gonna run through some of your little friends. I think I need to get them first because they're sort of surrounding us in a way that's not so useful. So, yep, grab some of them. And then, ooh, call them over, call them over. Ah, oh, this guy is too much. All right, I'm doing what I can, but a lot of our Pikmin are getting chomped. Yikes. Let's pluck some of these guys in real fast. And then we'll get some of that over. So of course that monster dropped some treasure, so. We'll just toss over whatever Pikmin we can. So we would have been a lot better off if we brought over the 70 blue Pikmin instead of 50, but we can still make this work. Okay, so what's the deal with all of this? I should be able to charge some of it. There we go. There's a pipe over there. It might be my best bet, because I don't really see too much else, of like a way to get around. Ooh, okay, now I thought they were fighting enemies. We'll call the idlers over. See that also, did I accidentally hit the, the super spicy sprite too? That was not my intention at all. I might have to unequip that from that. So we're going through this big pipe. Whoa, this is cool. New treasure detected. Oh, and it's you again. So what we need to do is, right as it starts to shape like that, we pull them all back. And then we go again. I think this time we can get it before it snaps down. And there you are. Awesome. So one, two, three. And then we can also get this. What's going on down here though? They're all trying to get down this way and that does make me a little bit nervous. So I just don't know where it leads. Okay, it looks like just right over there. So I will have Ochi go through there. We will switch to Ochi as soon as it lets me. I don't see too much else to accomplish in this area. So switching over to Ochi. And Ochi can fight that enemy, maybe. Boom, that didn't work. Okay, Ochi chomp. Uh, there we go. It's sort of working. This guy is so creepy. I mean, I guess I could have, oh no. Come on, one more chomp. That's it, perfect. The Pikmin are having trouble, but they won't soon enough. Okay, so Ochi's working on this now. I will switch back to Olimar. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, uh, 
This, oh no, that's, yeah, the spider is holding us. Here, can we help with this at all? Is this working? Uh, I don't think it is. Come on. There we go. Beat that guy up as much as I can, but also send that back. Um, I'm trying to call them back, but this is an awkward enemy to fight. The game's just not really working with me. Okay, call them back again for that flame attack, and then just attack them as much as I can. They're about halfway down. I'm gonna call some idlers over, because I feel like they're not really doing much right now. Okay, we got that. I think Ochi's working on Seth. We're at 50%, so we're almost through all this. Here, we'll grab these Pikmin. Ochi looks like they've finished. That's great for them. And we haven't seen that big roller guy, for better or for worse. Ochi, come here. Got it. And let's, oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Yikes. He's so ooey gooey, I don't like it. Anyways, as soon as we get this figured out, we're good to go. So if I just hop up here, go like this. Oh, it's that creature again. Tell me about it. Um, Ochi, why do you keep doing that? Um. Okay, maybe this is fine how it is, but I really wanted to, okay, he's actually sort of in the wrong spot for now, so we can sort of make this work. There we go, so we're gonna zip you up and see what this is. Let's see what this ID tells us. This is Osa, the research task force recruit. Um, their home planet is Sigure, an archeologist tracking the path of civilization across the universe. He hopes his discoveries will shock the world of academia. That'd be great. Wow. A ruin excavation specialist. He probably came to this planet to do research. Excellent rescue work. Bring him on back here. I have some requ some questions for him. Interesting. All right, so let's see where the roller is going. It's actually not bothering us at all. I mean, they're sort of just riding a little bike in a way. That's what's sort of cute about it is when they're not trying to roll us over. It's actually sort of adorable. You can sort of see them pedaling. All right, there's that. We got 100% of the treasure collected here, so luckily, since we managed everything quite well, we don't have to worry about anything more from what I can tell. There are some Pikmin over there, but um, they should just leave with us when we go through here. So sub-level two of the engulfed castle wasn't so bad. Hopefully sub-level three will be just of a good of a time. All right, so let's see what we have going on with this third sub-level. First things first as we check the map. I mean, luckily this time we don't see as many flaming enemies. It feels like it's been a little bit more fair with that. Uh, but I guess we'll just pluck this stuff right away. But ooh, now we have electrical things going on. That's not so fun. We actually haven't seen like an electrical vent like this. We've seen the flaming, we've seen water and bubbles. This is our first electrical one, which we destroyed pretty quickly. We'll grab all of that. Can't get up there to do too much, but I can do this. Let's destroy it fast then. Go, 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 got it. And what's going on over here, a couple of eggs. So I will try to break these open and just send all of our Pikmin over to see if any of them need it, which not too many of them do. And then over here, let's get Ochi to work on that. Maybe while they are, I can, oh, no way, I fell. You're kidding me. Oh, that's actually so frustrating. <laughs> We're so close to getting it. This enemy might be more of a pain, but we can get some of them. Oh, come on, come on. Try that again. Ochi, help out with this one. Um, Come on, just one more chomp. Almost, almost. Oh no, we got it, okay, cool. So, one, two, get back over here, call these Pikmin over, and then work on getting this avocado. Um, maybe, there we go. Got it, and then over here, I do see this that I definitely want to destroy. As fast as possible, all the Pikmin just pitch in with that one. And it looks like we can move the ship to over here. It wouldn't be the best thing in the world to do just yet, not until I can lower these fences. But I will get these extra Pikmin because I can certainly make the most out of them. A new creature discovered over here. It's gonna flop, flop to the floor, which I guess is where we can get everybody to start attacking and defeat it fairly quickly. Okay, wait for this. And then we go. Throw as many Pikmin over as we can and we'll call everybody over for now. Actually, not worth doing that because they don't really have much of a place to bring it to. Um, this is another new creature, which it has some red accents. I'm wondering if it's, ooh, uh, gonna be spitting out fire or something, because that's like the little red legs. Just trying to read the context clues of things, but there's that. Is this a potato? I think it might be. So we'll send a lot of Pikmin over for that one. Send any idlers to come over to us? Because we have a lot of this stuff going on, but until we can find a way to lower 
the button or lower the fences. I feel like we should just wait when it comes to actually excavating them, which actually seems to be right over here. So we're going to wait for this. Toss a bunch of Pikmin over, and it's gonna be a really good idea to clear this stuff out sooner rather than later, because if that roller guy does start to attack us, we wanna make sure that this stuff isn't an issue. I, I threw that one Pikmin too soon, I'm so sorry, buddy. Um, all right, we got another enemy over here. Let's do a full tackle against them. Oh, but this isn't, is this a dirt wall? Okay, for a second it looked like a metal wall, and I got really concerned, but we can handle that a little bit, and I could also help out with it. I <laughs> could throw a couple punches in. I keep forgetting that we had this move, it's perfect. And I don't know where Ochi is at the moment. Command, come here. There we go, that should help. If Ochi can, I don't know if they can, but um, now they definitely can. So let's call everybody over and really get started working on some things here because the iron fences are lowered. Um, wait, before you guys do, hold on, hold on. Watch out for this. There's Ochi. If we could just destroy this super duper fast. Got it. Now everybody can go to their stations, figure some things out. Before they get too carried away, I guess we should move the ship to over here. I feel like having this more central location will be way easier. So move the base over. Excellent. Um, get some more over there. We had, whoa, more enemies popping up. Ochi, help out with that, because this guy just popped out of nowhere. But Ochi can get rid of them in a couple of chomps. Um, we'll deal with this. Got it. And what else was there? There was the puzzle piece up that way. So we really are being pretty snappy with mo most things at this point. There is still some more in this room though. So I will call over whatever idle Pikmin there are. We'll get some of this. We're over 14,000 Sparklium, which was double our original goal. So that's cool. Um, Let's try to fight you. First send Ochi over. And then yeah, just throw as many Pikmin as we can over. Come on, full charge. Oh no, call them over, call them over. Oh, they almost got squished, but luckily we dodged it. Ah, uh, looks like we might have lost one. Come on, we're almost there. Got it. I wanna send Ochi over to this wall. I'll get five pigment there, one pigment there, and then a whole bunch for this material. After we get that done, it says we're at 100%, so I guess we just need to get that stuff back and we're good to go. So that's excellent. We were really good here. I and mean, we might get it done before the monster shows up. I don't wanna speak too soon, but we're almost there already. So once that one creature gets through, we're sort of good to go. I mean, I guess we could uh, yeah, get some of these. All right, move it, move it, move it. Now we're just waiting for those four things. That's fantastic, we did really good. On the idlers over just in case, here it is. I was waiting for you. So it definitely is on some kind of timer. But this time we were way ahead of the curve. So we're just waiting for one, two, three, four of them. I don't know where you are at the moment. Uh, my rolly friend, there you are. Uh, but I'm just gonna go through here. 100%, yep, we're good to go. See ya. <laughs> that was great. He's gonna be so bothered, he can't keep up with us. All right, our next level, sub-level four, it's not our final one, so we still have a lot of work to get through, but I guess we should start with those mushrooms over there. Should be pretty easy to destroy after all. There we go, and that clears that whole area out. Now what is this thing? Oh, is this the thing that Ochi really doesn't like? Okay, ew, 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 ew. Um, it's a gas poison on its back, so what do we do? It doesn't seem like brute forcing it is the best idea, but it's sort of my best bat. Okay, we'll send a whole group of Pikmin over there. Um, why didn't that work? There we go. Now they're all working. And looking around this, we have another one, which maybe removing these spores first would help. Oh no, call them over, call them over. I don't know. Um, it's a little weird. I'm sort of just trying to brute force it for now, and that sort of kind of works, but I do see this enemy up this way, which I can't quite reach. There we go. Guess we'll get as many of them to blossom as possible. Ochi made it back, good to see. I don't know if this poison is really doing anything. I mean, it's more like a spore kind of deal. Okay, call you guys over. Send a whole group to pick up this stuff. That seems pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. Ochi, help out with this. Don't you steal that. That's not yours. We found it fair and square. They're making more of this awful poison. Call them all back. So as long as we call them all back, it seems like they're okay. We didn't lose any that time, so that's nice. I see one, two, three that we can throw over there. Can't really do too much this way, right? There's nothing to dig up. Sort of looks like a weird area. Oh, there was, oh, there was another one. I missed them. Wait, wait, they're back. 
We gotta wait for them to get a little lower. There we go. We get some ultra spicy nectar for it. Look, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say some of our Pikmin are missing. They're right over here. So we haven't gone up this ramp. I guess we should figure this out first. Just trying to do the th more timely things first. Okay, send them all the group over. And luckily they're able to defeat you so fast that it was hardly an issue. So that might be the, the strategy, is just rushing them, especially from behind. Yeah, that's definitely it. All right. So their poison disappears. Let's definitely, once again, break this stuff open before that monster shows up. Because once the monster shows up, it's gonna be a disaster. So. That sticky mold has been removed. Work on breaking this some more, and I will just throw in a couple of punches. Just help out with that as much as I can. Awesome. So that dirt wall is demolished. I guess I'll get a couple of Pikmin to deal with all this stuff. But for the most part, we're just gonna keep moving over to here. What's going on in this vent? What's up, Bochi? Can't go any further? Yeah, I don't think he can. Oh, I see where we are. That's fine. So that was sort of a full circle move. We're right back over here. We'll join up with Ochi again. Hi, buddy. We'll call some more friends over this way, but we just need to keep working on stuff. So definitely gotta break this stuff open. And ooh, there's a fruit in there. I have a feeling there might be some monsters in there too. So sticky mold removed. Maybe not. Is there anything more behind it? Doesn't look like it. So they're gonna be working on that. Oh, okay, I should have seen that one coming. I should have seen that one coming. OG, help me out. Um, we need everybody to come over because this big mean monster is gonna do stuff. Come on, everybody. Don't let this happen, don't let this happen. OG, you first. Just try to chomp at the spider. Got it. The big mean frog, though, is still over here. I know you're gonna do your thing. Ah, oh, so creepy. Just rush you as much as we can, but maybe not from the front. Gotta move around to the other side like this and see if we can get you. Some of them are getting poisoned now, and it's really, really not good. Okay, call them all over. I'm taking some damage now. That's the most damage I think we've ever taken in the game from this frog. Okay, call them all over again. We are losing Pikmin, but we're almost through it yet. This is such a challenging one so far. Um, there we go. This is uh, definitely the most challenging cavern we've seen. Um, there we go. We'll call some idle Pikmin over, because now it's mostly you we gotta deal with, huh? You got a giant explosive? Okay, I didn't think that you would explode it like that. Good thing we had an emergency kit. Oh man, I lost my health there, but we lost a bunch of Pikmin. That's actually a disaster. We could reverse the clock, but I might wanna wait and see if we can just make it through with what we have. It might not be a good idea, but I'm willing to try it. So they're all working. I can't do too much on my own, but there is stuff I can still do on my own. Um, so I guess I'll work on that. <laughs> We can just get the punch in. And once again, I'll call over some idle, idle Pikmin, which there shouldn't be too much at the moment, but soon enough there will be. I mean, this is something. It's not a strong punch, but it's a punch. And we're at 25% through the sub level, so it's just, it's really challenging. Got it. I mean, you know what? If we're really in a pickle, hold on. Look what I have. Uh, I forgot about these guys. Well, let's draw some glow seeds. As many as we can. Maybe not as many as we can. Oh no, here they come. So this is where things get a little complicated and we took way too long on this one, but it's just, oh, so tough. Like how was it supposed to move any faster? So, yep, we'll get all of these guys over. New treasure collected. Once again, I'm gonna send as much of a group as I can over, but the Glow Pikmin should be able to make a bit of a difference here, and that's nice. So, oh, here they come already. Are they gonna roll over here? You bet they will. So we need to run, run, run. Oh, they're gonna roll some stuff over for me, which is always great, but, uh, one, two, get that over there, and then this. Are they weak to the poison? Oh no, Ochi's been hurt. Okay, Ochi, I need you to come over here then. I don't know where you are, so, wait, what did that do? Um, I don't think that's what I wanted. Um, come here. Follow the scent, Ochi. There we go, so the Glow Pikmin dealt with this, no problem. Now you, I want you to activate that explosive, but then run away, Ochi, don't! Oh, that was dangerous, that was really, really close. Okay, so, Ochi has arrived. We're all gonna hop on top of Ochi here. So I don't know where the roller is at the moment, but I think we'll be okay because we're almost at this thing. We're at 75% for the treasure, so as soon as we get this through, I think we're actually done. I don't know where roller is. It looks like they're over there. <laughs> okay, uh, throw a couple extra Pikmin over here to help them. So the glow Pikmin are actually being a huge help this time. That's great. Got them there. Got this here. 
All right, new treasure collected. We're at 100% for the um, sub-level four. So we just gotta get out of here now, which the exit was right over here. So I should be good just to hop in and keep moving. That was a rough one for sure. It was mostly the enemies more than anything, but just gotta be a bit more careful. The final sub-level of Inglove Castle. This has been a nightmare, but we can definitely get through it. Ooh, purple ones. That's not winged Pikmin, huh? There must be a castaway nearby. What's up with this? Uh, Cause winged Pikmin are pink, not purple. What is this saying? Whoa, hello. The purple Pikmin. You're everyone, huh? Wow, that's so cool. These Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let me check the voyage log. There may be a relevant entry. The purple Pikmin. One purple Pikmin has a strength and weight of 10 regular Pikmin. With a lack in speed, they make up for in force. When thrown, their impact is powerful enough to emit gravitational waves. They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. Interesting, so I can't get them really anywhere else. They're 10 times stronger than other Pikmin? How could they possess so much power? Well, it sounds like we can rely on them for some heavy lifting. That's so cool, so we get a new type of Pikmin and then we can pluck some more over here. Um, I'll do another five. So typically, I guess we would need, okay, this, oh, well, okay, we got some water Pikmin over here, blue Pikmin, so we'll pluck them too. Got it, and then we'll also break all of that open. So let's everybody get together. Uh, and make sure that those guys are all, <laughs> it makes quite an impactful noise, I like it. So everybody's enjoying some nectar here. Everybody who needs some, even some glow Pikmin maybe? Okay, that seems like everybody. Getting back over this way then. We got this one. And there's the person we need to save, but we need to get that wall lowered first. So if I were just to throw one, as you can see, it counts as 10. So if we throw 10 Pikmin, purple Pikmin, it'll squish it down, no problem. Excellent, bag flattened. And what's the deal with this big egg? Whoa! Oh, it's you again! Oh no! This is not good. What do we do about you then? Uh, I mean, maybe the purple Pikmin can help. Oh, that did something. Aha, it's shown itself. And it looks like the purple Pikmin can really help. Oh my goodness. Um, do we go again? No, no, no. Okay, it needs some moments here. We'll give it some time. Uh, okay. It's, uh, struggling. We're able to. Do something. This is so bizarre. Okay, we go again. There we go, this seems to be really working. It's almost down already. Uh, and then whenever it gets its color back, I guess we just sort of go again. Why aren't the attacks working? Oh, they're working all right. Oh no, you're running, you get back here. Ow, Oh, that hurt. Um, Where do you think you're going? You are just getting away with this. You come over here. <laughs> there we go, we're solidifying. You now send everybody after to attack. That was crazy. Um, the poor thing actually is cowering now. I'm sorry. Call everybody back. Not much of a fighter after all. He just wanted to roll around. There we go, we got you. Not so tough after we get rid of your little rollers, are ya? Whoa, and is that a GameCube disc? I think it is, but for what game? I can't really tell from here. So we'll just go ahead and, so will one Pikmin you have the carrying capacity of, of 10 of them? Or one purple Pikmin, well, that's amazing. So there we go, wave race, whoa, cool. So we'll get that friend zipped up and then are we good? Is there more? Let's see. So we'll also see your ID here. Checking the ID info right now. This is free, sir, for say? I'm not sure. A composer. Home planet is Enohi, a dedicated composer traveling with a famous opera singer and a TV crew, hoping to find inspiration for an upcoming project. Huh? A musician? Looks like he was riding along on the TV crew ship. Maybe he knows a TV reporter. Maybe indeed. Okay, that's so cool. So, um, we're still missing some prizes. It looks like there's something over here. Uh, yeah, way over that way. I guess something underground. So I'll send all of our Pikmin over, right over there, so that they can start digging. Ochi wants to help out too, of course. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be more paint. 
All right, excavation completed. They're gonna rush that over real fast. Can't believe we found purple Pikmin and we fought the evil goo monster. That was fun. So once that goes in there, we'll be good to leave this place. And Glove Castle was a ton of fun, super engaging. And I guess if we can do anything else, maybe just get a couple more purple Pikmin to uh, bloom from that. They make such a heavy noise. All right, Soulful Artist Series is making some progress. We got 100% here at Engulf Castle, so I'm getting out of here before another one of those creepy water monsters appears. That was so cool though, I had a great time. And there is the Engulf Castle. Unfortunately, we have to leave the Glow Pikmin behind, but we get two pup drive ups, so that's nice. Definitely we'll be making the most of those. We get a couple of new rewards here. Some of them not so new, but that's okay. Okay, so that gets us over 1,200 sparkling and added, 100%, so that's the investigation complete. And we can keep moving. All right, we're back out here. Oh, and the tide lowered, so things are a little bit different. Um, How do I wanna do this then? I probably wanna get at least, actually let's lower the ice Pikmin a bit. Get some more red Pikmin out here. I like that's a fair balance. And only 10 seconds remaining, so we're, yeah, we're really running out of time here. So we don't want to dilly dally too much. I will just head off this way, right? That seems about right. Um, maybe I could get some Pikmin to do this. If I could, it would be so helpful. I think we can, one, two, three. That way we can just head back up here even easier next time. Okay, get you guys over and we need to run. Oh no, enemies popping up, I don't care too much. There we go, hop on quick, little guy. We're just gonna go over here and be all finished up for today. Wow. So you couldn't do too much more after that, but that's fine. I think all things considered, we got a lot done. Here we're up to 56%, we found new Pikmin, so can't be too unhappy with that. It seems like the second half of percentage goes by way faster than the first for these areas so far, so let's we'll see how much we actually jump up next time around. But hey, as long as we're discovering new things, I'm happy. That's exactly what we did today. All right, off we go. Gotta head back home. So we've returned to our friends with some good news. New Pikmin, new castaway saved. Our results for day 19, Osa and Freeze are saved as well as all of this wonderful stuff. So we'll take a good look at what we found. It looks like it's going to be a lot. So let's we'll read through the new things. So we got the creatures, the nuggets, the noble goo, the glinty circular disc, which is a GameCube copy of Wave Race something storm. I don't know, break storm, something like that. Very cool, I don't think I've ever put, seen that game before, but a difficult choice totem, insect condo, uh, memory fragment, bottom probably, child of earth, scaly custard, crush nugget, Juicy Gaggle, Ice Sword, Secured Satchel, Vanishing Cookie, Hoop of Passion, Ring of Return Shield, uh, Fishy Bed, oh that's cute little sponge, Mock Bottom, Bright Sword, Lamp of Inspiration, Face Wrinkler, and of course some other repeats. So that's pretty cool, we're over 14,000 sparkling now and 56% sent through the Serene Shores. We now have a total of seven different types of Pikmin and that doesn't even include our Glow Pikmin. Oh. No, Halt, come no closer. Captain, what is it? What's wrong? They're here on the SS Shepherd. Pikmin, so many Pikmin at this rate will be crushed. Uh, Captain, I'm not seeing any Pikmin. What? Oh my, thank goodness. It was just a nightmare. I mean, it was a dream. I was giving the Pikmin orders and I wasn't afraid of it at all, not one bit. Of course, I totally believe you, boss. All right, well I guess it's weighing on the minds of everybody. It appears that Captain Olimar visited a place called Hero's Hideaway right before he went missing. Search carefully for the SOS signal inside the building. We'll be doing that soon enough, but for right now, look at all of these. So, cure nine leaflings, rescue everyone uh, Everyone who sprouted leaves like me, and cure them while you're at it. And then we got like appraisal frenzy, you versus planet. Um, that'll, the battle is between you and the planet. Defeat the creatures you encounter and win. It's that simple. Okay, I don't know if there was anything else here. Uh, precious scientists, please find the other members of the research group I came with. Uh, losing them would be a blow for the entire galaxy. I really need you to come through for me here. And then find the missing TV crew. Help, my TV crew needs to be found and rescued. Frise, Frise Vonda, and my director. You hunt for them and I'll report for the, from the, I'm, what do you mean? It's too dangerous. <laughs> okay, uh, I think all these other ones we've read through. 
So that's cool. And now we're on rescue mission, day 20. Which we won't be doing too much right now, but I do want to read through. I think there might be some extra voyage logs and stuff. So I definitely want to take a look at this. Good morning, Ochi. So cute. Ooh, even more stuff cleared out, huh? That's great. Getting pretty spacious around here. After many castaway requests, we're adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully, this will ensure all the castaways stay comfortable while they're here. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit every anyone else we rescue while we're on this planet. Everyone you've rescued pulled together to give this to you as a way of saying thank you. I believe it's more raw material. Oh, that's great, thank you so much. So, we're jumping up to 180 of them so far. We can put in another new invention. We'll see that soon enough. For right now, I just wanna see our missions, making some more progress. Um, set the world abloom. I would love for you to bloom all the pigment flowers you can during your missions. If you find any nectar, let the pigment enjoy it. Let's fill this world with brilliant blossoms. And then the ID badges for the two new people we saved, as well as Bernard. Oh yeah, all sorts of them, because I haven't been looking at them lately. So, we've already read through all these before. Our rescue journal, though, has some updates, I guess? Or no, the captain's diary does, number seven. Something's been on my mind lately. Do my rescue officers have enough responsibility and autonomy? Is there something I should be doing differently? I worry. I can't stop worrying. Am I doing everything I should as our, be as our captain? Huh, poor Ruma has a lot on her mind. And then we have the Shepherd family history number four. We will soon welcome new rescue officers. That is, we've officially decided to add rescue pups to the team. We may not be able to exchange words with our canine partners, but we can build trust and understanding through careful training. I'm certain the history books will remember their accurate or acute sense of smell as revolutionizing our res rescue work. Red Shepherd, the 36th captain. That's really cool. All right, so I don't see too much more to do here, except for maybe some stuff in the um, Almar log. We do have a change of heart. How alarming. For some undiscernible reason, the Pikmin won't look at me, even when I call them with my whistle. They always gladly followed me until now. Have they lost their senses? I must do something to get them back on my side. So I think that was like the poison. All right, and then we got the rock Pikmin. Ah, the hard, rocky rock Pikmin. I think, yeah, we did read these. Okay, so that's cool. And the purple Pikmin too. Very cool that we're finding so many new Pikmin. We got the Ultra Spicy Spray. I mean, I think we read this one. The Pikmin and Moss were sprayed with Ultra Spicy Spray today. Yeah, we did. Um, the Non-Existent Entity. We read that one. The Kingdom of Beasts. The Engulfed Castle. Moss and the Pikmin, here we go. I don't believe I've ever seen a space dog like Moss before. First of all, she's huge, but she's also also has an adorable leaf at the tip of her tail. She seems to get on quite well with the Pikmin. I can't help but wonder if there's some kind of connection between them. Yeah, we also saw that with Ochi. Ochi's growing a little leaf on their tail. Swim lessons. Moss has shown herself to be a very talented swimmer. She can transport non-swimming Pikmin across the water by carrying them on her back. To be honest, she could probably teach me a thing or two. I can't even swim in space if I don't have my favorite space float. Snack for Moss. Since since the first time I shared a scrummy bone with Moss, when she was acting hungry, she wags her tail furiously and starts begging as soon as I start opening our bag of space food. It's delightful to watch, as long as our food supplies last. Is that everything? No, there's still more sunsets. Under a setting sun, I've played catch with my son and comforted my daughter as she fretted over the, the growing darkness. It's where I first fell in love with my wife's smile long ago. The twilight of this planet brings back distant memories of Hakotate. We gotta get him back to his family. I feel so bad. They're all waiting for him. It's so cute. And then um, the last push. At long last, my goal to collect all lost SS Dolphin parts is nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. Which I think we might have read that one before, sorry. Um, but that was still great. We got a lot done in today's episode. And we have so much more to do as we explore more of the Serene Shores and I'm sure plenty of other stuff in the next episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.